Hi YouTube. Okay, this is going to be a short video. I'm just going to throw these videos out. However, Jesus leads me and I hear Jesus saying he wants me to ask you, are you doing everything that you can to draw near to your loved ones, your spouse, your children? If you're able to be with them, are you doing all that you can to study their hearts? Are you being sensitive to their hearts? Are you taking the time to learn how their hearts are communicating to you, how they're trying to communicate to you, even if they're not speaking, their hearts are still talking, just like God's heart. Even though when God can be silent at times, he's still speaking in those moments. He's still teaching a very valuable lesson. So it's no different with people. Sometimes when people are going through a really hard time, you know, and if you ask them, how are you doing? And they may say, oh, I'm fine or nothing's wrong. Yeah, right. Something's going on. They're going through some sort of battle, and God wants you to learn to be sensitive to their hearts and His heart so that He can teach you how to serve them and how to comfort them, how to counsel them, and how to be there for them. So, one way that you can draw near to the depth of God's heart is to ask Him to teach you what people are going through. And really sincerely ask Him to allow you to feel their pain to allow you to try and understand the situation that they're in. If you deeply want to learn how people are suffering and why they're suffering, and if you go to God with this, if you if you just you beg Him to teach you these things, He will. He'll start to pour out His heart about what that person's going through and how He feels about it and how He's sad about it and how it affects Him too because He cares deeply for the person who is suffering and then in that moment, you may not realize it, but you're actually bonding with God in such a deep, profound way. Because not only is he sharing the suffering hearts with you, he's sharing his heart. And that's going to help you guys bond. And that's going to help you really understand God in a whole new light. And then just if you keep doing this over time, God is going to draw you closer to himself. He'll reveal himself more to you. He will naturally pour his wisdom and understanding inside your soul in your mind and your, your mind will become sound um you will have wisdom come to you like this you know like it's like god downloads you, you download god's thoughts his heart his counsel his wisdom so that you know how you can serve these people and how you can be there for them and then um also you can learn through their sufferings deep, deep lessons of love and, and how to have compassion on those who are suffering and when you yourself are suffering and when you yourself get sick or when you go through a hard trial, you know, then, then you're going to learn so much wisdom with God at your side on how to be there for people too. So, um, so that is part of building God's kingdom. That is part in serving God's heart is really caring about the suffering. So, Jesus wants me to encourage you to do that. Seek God's heart. Ask him to show you who are suffering, um, like your loved ones. I'm talking about people that you can help, you know, and how you can help them. Because um, sometimes people will try and help others just from the kindness of their heart, but it may not always be the way that God wants, you know. So you really have to use discernment on asking him what his way is in helping someone and so like and then sometimes people you know that we love um won't even be near us but you can still help them you can still pray for them you can still mourn with god about whatever they're going through you just prayer prayer is so important and it's so powerful that your prayer the prayer of the righteous heart has so much power it can change lives um so don't think that just because you're not near the ones that you love that you can't help. Or if there's another situation that's blocking you from being able to communicate with them. Or if, um, you know, if God doesn't even want you to reach out to someone, you can still pray for that person and really get to, to learn what's going on in their heart and what they need and just pray for them. And that will draw you close to Jesus. And you keep doing that. And the more you do, the more sensitive you will be on how to help others and the more wisdom you will be filled with godly wisdom on really how to help people and counsel people and make disciples of god's heart this is part of of, of um 
building God's kingdom with him and having intimacy with him. So I just really wanted to, to press in on that and really just take a step back and look at your life. And if you know that, that people are suffering and you can do something, you have the resources or something to help them, ask God, ask him how you can help. Yeah, so I just wanted to um, talk about that because I had it on my heart and I know it was Jesus. So I hope that helped you teach you something or encourage you to do something to at least seek Jesus, at least seek him about this and obey him and draw near to him, okay? Because he's the meaning of life and family are the meaning of life, you guys. And love is the meaning of life and life is empty without it. So become on fire for Jesus and really ask him to help you feel his heart and the suffering hearts. God bless.